If you are new here, hello, my name is Katie. I live in Orlando and I make all like shop with me videos, any type of like haul, I like to buy stuff pretty much. I like to spend my money and just show you what I buy. So pretty much if you like anything to do with like Target, home goods, home decor, shopping, stuff like that, you're definitely gonna love it here. So make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and also make sure you hit the subscribe button down below so you don't miss all my new videos. But if you are not new here, if you're a Katie Binding veteran, then you know what today is. It is Target Tuesday, everyone's favorite day of the week. Honestly, I'm thinking about making like a Target Tuesday, but like really Target everyday shirt merch anyone I don't know I've just I've been thinking I've really been thinking about it but yes today is Target Tuesday thank you so much for bearing with me through all the Target content oh my god so much Target content there's just been so much new awesome stuff for me to show you guys at the store and I just I couldn't cram it all into one video it was just so much where I had to spread it out so thank you for bearing with me through the horrid Target content that I've been providing I, it's just my favorite store to shop at. I'm literally here all the time filming or not, but I do always bring my camera just in case because you never know what you're going to find. It's just the best store. I just love it. And there's a Starbucks inside of it. Like, what's not to love? Also, a lot of really cute new shoes for the spring, a pair that I'm really hoping to get my hands on, and I'm hoping that they have it here. And let's just head inside and see what they have. Also, I have on, like, my Target red. This is, like, the perfect Target red. Everyone that works at Target wears red, and I feel like if I worked at Target, I would probably wear red dresses all the time, but that's just me. Target seriously has so many cute new like heels and sandals coming in for the spring, and I'm really, really excited. Last year, they kind of fell flat for me. The year before that was like my favorite pair of sandals that I just keep reordering on Poshmark because they didn't come out with them like last year, so two years ago. But this year is looking promising. There's one pair that I really, really want, and I'm kind of like looking around hoping that I can find it. But they have a lot of really other cute options too, so let me show you like some of the sandals that they have coming out, and we're also gonna search for this like one specific pair that I really want. So a lot of the really cute ones are by the A New Day brand. So here's one of them. So a square toe is very like popular. These look a little bit narrow, which is the issue that I had last year. But the heel is really cool. It has like, it, not like a snakeskin texture, but like a printed texture. And then just these really pretty like nude straps. The square toe is different. I know a lot of people probably won't like it, but it is very trendy and good for Target for like keeping on trend. These are $29.99, but currently on the circle for me, Shoes are 20% off, so they would be 20% off that price right now for me. Here is another like nude pair. So this one has like the ankle strap and then it has like a wider strap at the toe. The heel is kind of tall, probably like three inches-ish, but it is thick, so that makes it a bit more comfortable. These ones are more of like a nudish blush color as well, whereas like those ones are more of like a true nude color. Also $30. I like those ones, but this material makes me nervous with the rain. So here's that same shoe. Let me compare them because this is like the more like tannish nude color. Um, so you can definitely tell the difference. This is more of like a blushy nude and this is like a camel color. Both really pretty. And then they also have them right here in black. These are really, really nice. But there's one pair that I'm really in love with and I don't see them anywhere here. I'm gonna have to get on my hands and knees and like look at all these boxes because I want this one specific pair so bad. They're this like braided heel. They're like braided looking. They're just so pretty. I'll put a picture of them here. <laughs> I need them. I don't wanna order them online because some of the reviews say size down a half a size, but I have really wide feet. So I think I might need like my true size or a size bigger or half a size. So let's hope we can find some. Guys, you're kidding. I literally just searched like all of these boxes and then I was walking by about to give up and I noticed the braided underneath. These are the ones I was looking for in the size I was looking for. Literally, what luck, what such luck. Let's see if these bad boys fit me. Okay, I'm not gonna go much closer than this because your girl needs a pedicure desperately. But they are so pretty. The seven and a half fits perfect. They're very comfortable. 
I'm buying them. Okay, I wanted to try on the square toed ones just like to see. They're not for me. I like, I just don't even want to show you guys my feet. They're so bad. Like I said with these, not everyone is going to like them. I like them, but they don't look good on me. They are very trendy though. This is like very like Bottega Veneta if you're like into like luxury shoes at all. But that's like very in right now, the square toe. It just doesn't look good on me personally. I will link these um, on my Instagram. I'm on like to know it now. Um, I would say it's true that you can go down a half a size. Um, I'm normally a seven and a half or an eight and these are seven and a half. Whereas I tried these ones on in an eight and they honestly didn't really fit. So I do read a lot of the reviews online because that's like a better way for me to like try to figure it out as well. But I will link all of the new shoes on my like to know it. And my like to know it will be on my Instagram page, which is at Katie Vining. So go follow me there if you aren't already. These types of sneakers are really into. They are like woven. And then these ones have like snakeskin on the back, but it's just like all different textures, like woven and then burlap and rubber and leather. And then there's the pink ones, which are a little bit more like toned down. They have like just white on the back. <laughs> we were in the shoe section like a couple weeks ago and Brian was like, what are these? So clearly he's not a fan. I'm not really a sneakers like this kind of girl. I'm more of like sandals. That's why I live in Florida. But these are available at Target. Very trendy as well. They're honestly killing it right now with the shoes. And these appear to be memory foam as well. This is another like memory foam option. They are like suede on the top. They are from the A New Day brand. And then they have like the woven. These are honestly perfect for the summer. Just the material makes me nervous in Florida with the rain. But these are really cute as well. They are $34.99. And I will have all of these shoes linked on my Instagram. Like to know it. Okay, I'm currently obsessed with these like Opal House candles. This Mandarin hibiscus one literally smells so good. I have one in my cart. We have one at our apartment right now and it literally just smells so good. So I'm gonna get another one. But they're just like so tropical, perfect for the summer. Midsummer blooms, neon guava, gardenia lotus. So just like so many different, it's like nice floral, fruity scents. Highly recommend. The big ones are 10. And then the small ones are five. Honestly, to me, this is I, this is like decorative. That serves no purpose in my life, personally. But these ones are pretty good. I normally get like maybe like four or five burns out of them. But keep in mind, I burn my candles for like eight hours at a time. So they last a pretty long time. Um, and they smell amazing. They do have good like scent. They carry out through the whole apartment. So highly recommend this one, especially Mandarin Hibiscus. Smells so good. They also have a bunch of really cute like welcome mats for the spring. They are 20% off right now. This one is really cute. It says happy spring and it would be so nice with this underneath it. That's like the thing is like layering another rug underneath your placemat and those would look so good together. I love the happy spring one. We actually got ours from here. I know like several months ago I asked you guys which one you liked and we ended up going with this one that says it's always happy hour here. Just feel like it fits our house so much. And the other one I was going to do was Hope You Brought Wine. They have had these at Target for a really long time. I feel like they're part of their like permanent collection. So once this one is like seen its day, maybe I'll go for this one. This one reminds me more of like the fall, winter vibes. And then this is more like spring, summer. We're fun. We like to have a good time. We're young. So <laughs> that's the one we went with. They're super stocked over in the kitchen section tons of this line of canisters we still haven't decided like what kind of canisters we want i like these a lot but they are pretty busy and we have like kind of a busy backsplash so i don't think that those would work then they do have the gray ones with the wooden lids which these are really nice too but then i'm like are they too dark or are they too simple <laughs> i'll figure it out eventually so many really really cute phone cases when I first got my phone, they honestly didn't have that many cute phone cases because I did get it right when it came out. I really like this one. This one also keeps catching my eye. Kate Spade one, 40 bucks. But I have a tip about phone cases that I want to give you. So a lot of the phone cases that they have here, like the brands and stuff, Kate Spade, Sonics, all that, they sell these literally at Home Goods, TJ Maxx, and Marshalls at the checkout. They have really nice phone cases. No reason that they're discounted. They just maybe send their overage there. But I've seen ones that I've seen here, there, and they're only like 10 bucks, 12 bucks, never any more than that. So much cheaper, such a better deal. I so wish that I could get some of these phone cases, but I'm weird and I like absolutely have to have 
a wallet on the back of my phone case so no cute no point in me buying like a really cute phone case because you can only see the top I don't know so I just have a clear phone case um, because I just I can't live without a wallet on the back of my phone I don't bring my purse with me everywhere so if I don't have my card on the back of my phone I can't pay for something any other way like I don't have a credit card I don't have any other way to pay for anything except for my debit card which probably puts me in a pretty vulnerable spot but anyways cute phone cases they have them here at Target, but they're very overpriced. Check Home Goods, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Ross too, Nordstrom Rack, all the same brands as Target, but for like literally a quarter of the price. I just love this. So also the confusion with this is still so real. So here it's marked as $24, and when you scan it, it says $70, but if you scan this little barcode, it shows this table. So the confusion lives on. If you find one at your store and you like it and you think it's cute, you can definitely get them to give it to you for $24. It's just this weird like price mix up that they still haven't fixed so pro tip but i really love this one i'm obsessed with the white concrete i really wanted either a white concrete dining table or a white concrete um, coffee table and i just couldn't find one for like under a thousand dollars i love this accent table i was hoping that they would come out with a coffee table but they never did it's 89 dollars, and i'm just obsessed with it but it does scratch really really easy which is my hesitation with getting it like for our living room but i'm obsessed with it i just love like the clean look of it i love the shape and the price is really good too they have so many cute like pots too for outdoors i really really like this one it's like part of it is like engraved in almost kind of like a ray dunn mug and then other parts are like engraved too but more painted this is really pretty it would be really cool for like a big succulent pot brian really really wants to do that i like this one a lot i don't think that's the right price it says 299 i'm just pretty sure it's in the wrong place but this is such a pretty pot for the spring and summer they have so many really cute ones all really really decently priced they have these really big ones too these are 60 and they do have like a couple different like color variants if you can see this one is more like tan or like just not as white this one's a bit more white those are both awesome and then they have more like modern ones too so that one with like the gold accents that one is like a really sleek black a bunch of different options and they do come in a couple like different sizes these ones are really pretty for the spring as well i like that it has a place like to catch the water some pedestal ones and then this one which has a rainbow which kind of reminds me of the little um dish sponge from the target dollar spot i showed last week this is really pretty, but I, just, I can't touch it. Terracotta. They do have a few more really cute like spring and summer placemats hidden in the like outdoor section. So you could check here as well. This one, I don't know why there's toothpaste on it. says, well, hello there. They have like a palm leaf one. That one that says stay a while. This one that's just like floral, but it's more like a half circle. So just like a bunch of different options, but definitely check here too. So I have showed this one before, the like pink wind chime. But I haven't seen the blue one. This one's really pretty too. I like love shades of blue and green teal. So this is really, really nice. Um, I will say the shape of this one kind of reminds me of like a Christmas tree. So I don't know. The shape of this one is a little bit weird. I think that this one seems like it would be a lot cuter like when it was all set up. But just like last time, they don't have any pictures of what it is supposed to look like set up. So I guess you have to leave it to the imagination. Going to head over into like the grocery section now. There's a few things that we need. And also I want to show you a few things that we love that you can only get here at Target that I think that you guys should try. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I've never seen this before. It must be really new. Silk Ultra, 20 grams of protein. We used to buy the Silk Protein Nut Milk. We kind of stopped buying it, but for no real reason. We just haven't bought it. I think we didn't see it for a few weeks and then we just stopped buying it. But this is 20 grams of protein and it is plant-based protein, so it's not like from whey or anything. They have original and then they have chocolate. The one we used to buy was only 10 grams of protein and 20 is really, really good. Especially if you put in like a smoothie with Greek yogurt, like it would just have tons and tons of protein. I'm definitely going to pick up two of these chocolate ones. Brian is going to be so pumped. These are cool too. These Tazo teas, they have passion fruit, awake, which is black teas, and then Zen, which is like green teas and lemongrass. Tazo is actually the brand of tea that they serve at um, Starbucks. So if you like the refreshers and that sort of thing, a lot of times you can look up the copycat recipes and it has um, these types of concentrates. But it looks like these are already like pre-mixed for you. So the passion one is an herbal tea and then a black tea and then a green tea. I don't really like tea, but this is cool. And if you love the Starbucks ones, you could definitely save money if you buy it from here. This is another thing that we absolutely love, these balance breaks. This one's my favorite, the cheddar with the cashews and the cherries. I love this one, but honestly, all of them are good. 
Brian likes this one that has like the white cheddar and he also likes the Gouda one, but this one has almonds. These are so good. You get three packs and they're only like $3.50 a piece. They're so easy to snack on. Okay, this was like the number one thing I was talking about when I said I had something I needed to pick up that you can only get at Target. This Good and Gather shredded chicken is so good. Tender white meat chicken lightly seasoned with salt and pepper. You can literally use this for anything. You can cook it in the oven with salsa and make salsa chicken or put barbecue sauce on it and make little sandwiches. I'm just so obsessed with this and I need to pick up a bunch. It lasts pretty long in the fridge so I'm probably going to grab a couple of these. Not like I'm not at Target all the time and couldn't just buy it again but sometimes it's sold out. For the week of the Super Bowl I could not find it at any of the Targets and because it doesn't go bad for like a while I'm definitely going to grab a bunch. They do also have grilled chicken breast strips. I haven't tried these. I've only had the shredded chicken, but I'm sure that these are really, really good too. This is pretty cool. We don't really like Halo Tops, but it looks like now they have vegan, soy-free, dairy-free Halo Tops, which is really, really cool. They're not nut-free, so they're not like totally allergen-free, but soy is a really big allergy that I feel like not a lot of people talk about. So this is really cool to see that they've expanded their line and are more inclusive of people with different diets. Something we do like are Yasso bars. Ooh, it looks like there's, those ones have a coupon for $1.50 off. Also, these new Yasso sandwiches are bomb. The peanut butter one has like legit ribbons of peanut butter going through it. So I'm definitely gonna pick up some of those. We're obsessed with Yasso bars. Yasso, if you see this, email me. Love to work with you. Love your products. <laughs> I just found these Halo Top mini pops. Never seen these before. Chocolate chip cookie dough is the only like Halo Top kind that we will eat. Also, chocolate chip cookie dough is our favorite flavor of the Yasso bars. It's the blue box. I'm wondering if Brian would be interested in trying these. Honestly, I'm not a big fan of Halo Tops, but this is a cool find. And they also do come in mint chocolate chip as well in that like minty light colored box. What's cool about these though is they are only 50 calories per ice cream pop and six come in a box. Yasso's four come in a box and they're 100 calories, but it's still like not a lot of calories at all. You'd be surprised like how much calories like things that you eat are. But I don't know. I kind of want to get these. They're 550. I'm not sure. I just noticed above like all the Halo tops, there's the Target brand Archer Farms. They have these that are per pint: 350 calories, 370, 380, and then 330. Plus, they have 20 grams of protein per pint. That's really cool. I'm kind of interested in trying some of the flavors. So maybe I will grab some of these for us to try. There's just so many like low calorie ice cream options now and honestly a lot of them are really, really good. We are partial to Yasso of course, but I'm gonna try one of these Target ones. But definitely stay tuned to the end for a haul because I'm not showing like every single grocery item I'm picking up, but I know that people like to see that. I like to see what other people buy at the grocery store. It gives me ideas, so definitely stay tuned to the end for a haul. I just found these, these are kind of fun. Just fruit and banana bites, just fruit and Greek yogurt bites. And they're only like 40 calories a cup. I grabbed the blueberry one for Brian. That's kind of fun. Also too, I feel like Target has like the best frozen fruit selection. They have really fun stuff like dragon fruit chunks, fun mixes too. Like on this side, they have a bunch of different like mixes like mango strawberry blend, antioxidant fruit blend, mixed fruit blend, tropical fruit blend, cherries and berries. And the prices are really, 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 really good. And they have a ton, like th three completely different things. So many like frozen fruit options. The only place that even kind of compares is Walmart. We buy a lot of our frozen fruit at Walmart because they have like just banana slices. They have like the best prices for the big bags, but these are really, really good too. Don't buy it at like a big box grocery store. Like Publix for us is like astronomically expensive. Aldi's really good too. And Trader Joe's is okay. Like they have some stuff. But Target is amazing. They have really cool stuff and it's really, really fair price. We are lemon and lime fiends in our house. Um, it actually makes more sense. It's cheaper for me to buy this bag of lemons. Normally I just buy the singles, but we need them really bad and I'm gonna pick up these. They look great. And I've been craving lemon water so bad because we haven't had lemons in like two days. I'm over in the makeup section now trying to find this lip product that's like viral on TikTok. It is like a NYX liquid lipstick. It's called like the Shine Loud or something, but it doesn't look like they even carry that line or like that specific product from NYX here. So I'll have to check Ulta or Sephora. People always want me to show makeup stuff. They're like, show us your makeup or like show makeup. But I honestly just don't buy makeup that much. It's not that I'm like purposefully not trying to show it. I just don't really buy makeup that much. Like 
I I don't know people have direct messaged me on Instagram and I have showed them every single product that I use um, but it's honestly like nothing too crazy I don't know but thank you guys so much for all of your compliments on my makeup all the time but yeah it's not like I'm not trying to show me buying makeup I just honestly never really buy makeup what I do want to show you though is the lip product that I people always ask me like what's on your lips what's on your lips so it is here at Target, so I'm gonna go and show you the display so you know exactly what to look for. Okay, here it is. It is by L'Oreal. It is the Rouge Satin Matte Lip Stain. They have a bunch of different colors. My favorite ones are this one, which are I Rule, which looks like they got some new packaging because mine definitely isn't like cute and fancy like that. Um, and also I Create, that's another really, really good one. But I have all of them. I Lead is really pretty, I Choose. Those are a little bit more, um, like bowls, these are more like true nudes. But I love all of these. Honestly, I own almost every single color. Like, if you look in my purse, you'll find, oh, oh, there's one right on the top. So this is like the one I have on today, and this one is I Create, which is the lighter of the two. I Rule is definitely like my number one favorite. But if you start digging through here, you're gonna find a bunch of these. Like here's another one. I have so many in my purse, like every single color. I'm sure you guys believe me, but if you dig through my purse, you'll find a bunch of these. I love them, they are great. They are $9.99 or $8.99, I'm not even sure. Honestly, it feels like the price has gone down. I feel like at their peak, they were like $13. But I feel like no one talks about these, and they're amazing. You can't feel them on your lips, but the color is like really impactful. Super pretty, I recommend this. It's not like transfer proof, but you can layer it and it doesn't feel like goopy or gross. These are amazing, definitely try them. Since I'm right here, I do wanna show you that this is the foundation I use. I get a lot of questions about like what foundation I use. It's the L'Oreal Freshwear 24 Hour. This stuff is seriously amazing, I love it. It's like medium coverage, but you can definitely build it or like use less, so it's medium, which it could go either way depending on like how you like your foundation. I don't know what color I use. Honestly, I have some really dark ones and some really light ones and I kind of mix them together on the back of my hand when I get ready and I just make a different color every single day. The Infallible Freshwear 24 Hour Foundation in a Powder is totally empty because this is also viral on TikTok right now. Everyone is talking about this powder. Like I guess it's like full coverage just like this. So I haven't tried the powder. I don't um, really wear like powder foundation. I might try it if they had it in my color or any color, but they're totally out. So it must be pretty good. The way I do my makeup is like not conventional or professional at all. Honestly, I learned from my sister and I don't know, I've just been wearing my makeup pretty much the same ever since. I just do foundation and then I do powder. I do a little bit of contour, blush, bronzer, highlight, and that's it. Nothing too crazy, honestly. It only takes me like 10 to 15 minutes to do my makeup. And I don't know, so it's nothing crazy, but thank you guys so much for all of your compliments. I feel like the secret to like your makeup looking good is like tr taking care of your skin and like using whatever skincare products work for you. I don't wanna say good skincare products because mine are like just drugstore stuff that you get here, but that's what works for me. But that's enough about makeup. Let's go ahead and check out for all my ice cream melts and I will do a haul for you guys when we get home. Okay, just got home, wanna do a really quick grocery haul. Normally I'd like hold everything up and it would be like a nicer haul, but everything I feel like is like melting and has been out of the fridge. <laughs> the dogs are fighting. Everything has just been out of the fridge for too long, so I just wanna do a really quick grocery haul and show you everything I got at Target. Also some non-grocery stuff too, but let me show you everything I picked up at Target. Okay, the first thing I grabbed was a thing of egg whites. Brian eats those like crazy. Aurora, <laughs> who has a toy? Who is it? Who has a toy? <gasps> no squeaking, guys. I have to do my haul. All right, then I picked up three of those shredded chicken things that I showed you. Two of them are dated for in March, and then I grabbed one dated in February, because I know we'll probably actually eat that for dinner tonight. Oh my God. <laughs> hey, I'm trying to film. Then I grabbed two of these Sargento balance breaks, one each of the ones that we like. 
Then I did pick up those Just Fruit Greek yogurt bite things. I don't know, it looked fun. It looks like something Brian would like, so I decided to pick that up. I did get a pack of Mercy chocolates. That's actually not meant to be in this haul. Then I got the Yasso peanut butter sandwiches and I did decide to pick up that like Archer Farms pint just to try it for science. I did also pick up a thing of dark roast beans because we like to do um, pour over coffee and then two new loofahs. And then I also picked up that mandarin hibiscus candle that I showed you guys, it's the best. I got two of the Silk Ultras, I'm super excited to try this. I just feel like it's so awesome. 20 grams protein, super easy. Got some eggs, some Chobani yogurts. Um, the packs were two for seven, which was a great deal. So I got a blueberry one and a strawberry one and then just too many like raspberry cups because the raspberry and the blackberry are my favorite. They didn't have the blackberry, so that's why I didn't get it. But love Chobani's, totally my favorite, obsessed. Then I got two bags of leafy romaine. Sometimes we'll buy like the whole romaines or the whole icebergs and cut it up, but this is really easy and then just a bag of lemons. I did also too decide to pick up those shoes. For me, there was a deal for Target Circle 20% off shoes for the family, so I got them for $23. And I just love them. I think they're so cute, and I'm so glad I was able to find them. Alrighty, throwing it back to Katie in the car for the sign-off. Alrighty, you guys. Well, that is gonna be it for me today. I hope that you love seeing all of the new shoes, some food recommendations. I'm trying to like branch out and show you guys stuff in all different parts of the store. So I really hope that you enjoyed everything I showed in today's Target Tuesday video. If you haven't yet, definitely make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure you hit the subscribe button down below, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.